Well, guys, good morning. It's early morning. 7 7.03 in the morning. Just gonna do a quick little video of this Audi Q7 TDI. Um, I'm gonna go to the swap meet. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, try to find some deals. So, I'm just going to drive there. Let me see if I can do a little startup video. Oh, jeez, a little, uh, what you call it. I don't know if I can or not. Let's see. Stay there. Stupid thing. All right, that'll work. All right, I'm gonna do a cold start. <laughs> that is all it does. So, let's just uh, get in it and go for a drive. Blab, blab while I'm driving, I guess. Alright, so we're inside the vehicle. It's just <clears throat> all kinds of controls and just navigation, info, changes all that crap. Navigation, you got your telephone, and then you got options, and then you got, so this is the options, then you got those options, <clears throat> and then you got your menu, you got your car settings, you can change all the settings in it, air conditioning, service all this weird stuff um radio media it connects to your phone so it's already playing music i guess once you connect and uh you can change this the stereo output stuff like that um car where you can turn it off and uh <clears throat> glove box <laughs> look at this weird crap and there's a there's a vent in there and an older like uh, iPod connector so there's like a weird connector adapter in there and then so as you can see you don't need the key I see people on YouTube when I was <clears throat> looking at these they're always using the key but you just need the key in your pocket or near you so it's got air conditioned seats so push this air conditioned seat I don't need it right now because it's 55 degrees outside oh. <clears throat> so so we'll push that that little thing comes up Oh, wrong button. <laughs> Stupid. Anyway, you click that and then you can mess with this. And then the fan comes on for the seats. Turn it off. Um, steering is really, really light on this car. Um, yeah, I guess the heat is coming on. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, you have all these settings up here, or uh, doodads up here. Oh, this thing slides back. <clears throat> so you got the panoramic sunroof. 
and then you can open the sunroof. Sunroof opens, and then you can hold this that way to go all the way, and then uh, just turn it all the way back to shut it. And then I don't know if you can follow this. Oh, okay. And then there's another sunroof back there. Another one back there that opens, I guess. So, anyway. Then you got these little vents, or these little sh sunshades on the doors, on the back door windows. <clears throat> and, I mean, just, just all kinds of options on this thing. So anyway, let me, uh, let me get buckled in here and, and start driving, but anyway, this is, a uh, as you see, it's got camera, so like I was saying, this is going to be my new work car, <clears throat> it is the diesel, you see, I'm about to hit the kids truck it's got a front camera <clears throat> so um hey man so I'm just gonna drive to the swap meet <clears throat> it's got adaptive lighting so when you turn the headlights on, uh, they'll adjust up or down, depending on if like you're on a hill, so they'll adjust down, or if you're on a downhill, the, the lights will adjust up so you can see. <clears throat> it's got fog lights and all kinds of other stuff. Um, it does have a really, really big fuel tank. I think it's a 26 gallon fuel tank. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't really know. Um, I filled up yesterday, as you can see, got a full tank, and uh, just adjusting my mirrors. It's kind of, it's kind of a lot to figure out. Like there's all kinds of settings. Like I was trying to mess with the mirrors and the, the memory settings here. I still can't figure it out. Um, and it's got front and rear fog lights. So you turn that on, that's a front fog light, that's a rear fog light. <clears throat> it's a European thing. Um, it's just a really bright light. We had a 90 out, 98 Audi A4, my wife did. And uh, we got pulled over by the cops. And they said that one of our tail lights was out. And uh, I went back there, looked, I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't find a light bulb. And uh, I'm just like, dude, I, there's not even a light bulb. There's no wiring. There's nothing here for a light bulb. There's not even a hole in the in the housing. So in that car, it just had, in that car, it just had one one extra light on the passenger side, and it was a fog light. Turns out, and I don't remember how I figured it out, but I just remember like turning on all the lights and messing with everything and. When you turn the fog lights on, that light came on, and so the fog lights were always on on her car. <clears throat> so, anyway, it's a pretty quiet, smooth driving car. It does need tires. I do want to get some tires. Tires are very expensive on this car. They are a 295, 35, 21. <clears throat> it's a weird, weird size, but whatever. So... I'm just gonna cruise cruise it. You guys can come with me. Um, it kind of makes a loud noise, but I think it's because the tires, the tire tread is low, so they're kind of a hard compound. But people, so right now this is cold, obviously, and I'm just cruising. Um, well, just basically got on the road. I'm doing 65 and getting 19 miles a gallon. 
<clears throat> so when I'm driving it out traveling on the road for work, um, it'll probably get a lot better gas mileage or fuel mileage. People were getting uh, up to 38 miles to the gallon out of these things, which is why I chose the TDI. Um, but yeah, just, I still haven't figured out options. I still haven't figured out stuff. Um, I thought all of these had air ride suspension and I was thinking that'd be pretty neat to have air ride suspension, be cool, blah, 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 be like more performance. And uh, turns out they don't all have it. So this is a Q7 S line with the winter package and everything. It's got basically every option except for it does have towing. It does have a hitch on the back. Um, has every option except for airbags. And when I found that out after I bought it and messed with the car and started checking everything out, I was actually uh, kind of excited that it didn't have airbags because it's just one less issue you're going to have, um, you know, with the airbags leaking and who knows what the, with all that other stuff. And um, so these are, I believe they're a coilover suspension which I'm actually excited about uh, because I don't want to deal with, you know, two years, three years down the road, I start having a leaky airbag or air ride suspension and you got to replace it in pairs and, you know, they're $2,000 a piece. I don't know I don't know how much they are, but I'm just throwing a number out there. So even if they're 500 bucks a piece, it's still $1,000. I could do all new shocks and struts and everything. Uh, all the way around this for that much. Uh, one cool thing, I guess, about this is uh, it's got six piston brakes up front and four piston brakes in the rear. Um, pretty cool, uh, I guess. Uh, brake pads for the front, they are, they do have sensors, so they got little wear sensors. It's just a, a cable that goes, you know, from one pad to the other pad. And it's got a power wire that goes to the one pad and so basically how it works is um, it shunts it basically shorts it out and then trips a trigger so once it gets down that sensor gets down to so thin uh, the wires touch basically and it's metal to metal and then boom a light comes on it's pretty pretty easy little uh, invention but it works so, and they're not too expensive for brake pads. I think uh, front brake pads, Brembo brake pads are 80 bucks. Uh, rears are like 62 bucks. And uh, rotors, I'm gonna run a red light. You guys get to watch me. Oh, it's still yellow. Anyway, uh, the rear <coughs> front rotors are, I think, I think they're like 75 bucks a piece, but they're massive rotors. I mean, they're, I want to say 15, 15 inch, 16 inch rotors in the front and 14 or 15 inch rotors in the rear. They're they're huge. I mean, rims and tires just 10 years ago or 20 years, 15 years ago weren't even that big, and now they got brakes. But anyway, um, anyway, I'm sure I'll do more videos on this car. This will be my daily driver. Uh. The people I bought it from, uh, Deluxe Motors, they're in Inglewood, California. Um, the, I can't remember her name, Maleka, Malika, um, anyway, her and her brother, I guess, run the car lot. They have Bentleys and Maseratis and, you know, Mercedes, Audis, they have a lot of high-end cars and, man, I, I've never been to a car dealership where the process was just, I mean, yeah, I did fill out an online uh, pre-qualification app the night before, but man, we were there for an hour and a half, maybe. That was with, you know, looking at the car, test driving it, and uh, dealing with everything. So, uh, we will refinance the car with our bank once we receive the registration and everything. Uh, but for right now, we just we just dealt, got with whatever they 
had, which was 5.99% interest rate. And uh, we're going to go to our bank, which will be 3.99% interest rate. So, anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging in there with me today. So, uh, yeah, just uh, if you guys have any questions, comment below. Uh, if you guys want, <clears throat> subscribe. Uh, subscribe up here. Watch my previous video. Go down the playlist. Uh, watch some videos. Do whatever you guys are going to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Gotta go. Later.